It's early morning. Please drive to highlighted route. And Mandy's already yelling at me. Not very nice first thing in the morning. It's still dark outside, guys. When was the last time you remember me being awake when it's dark outside in the morning? Must be at work. Okay. Let's get some Pop-Tarts. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. Yeah. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Don't worry, I got some fruit too. Mm. Itchy nose, itchy nose in the morning. Let's put those up here. Down here. Right there, nothing's gonna fall on my head and bonk me. Alright. Oh, how are y'all doing today? Y'all, we're in Kentucky? We're in not in Kentucky. Why did I say we're in Kentucky? We're in Virginia, Withville, Virginia. That's where we ended last night. Did I tell you last night where we ended? It's like right down the road from Fort Chiswell, I think. It's at the Flying J. See? Over here, it's the Flying J. Can you see it over there? Let me show you with my zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Flying J. I love the zoom on this camera. The gas is $2.99 a gallon here. Are you kidding me? That's so cheap. That's like 80 cents a liter. 80 cents a liter. That is practically free. Wow. You guys living around here are so lucky. Go out and buy a Hummer. That's what I would do if gas was this cheap. Ooh, diesel, we could afford to have our big pickup truck again with that price. Yeah, man. Anyways. Let's get on the road. You know, you never quite realize how dirty the inside of your windshield is until you're driving straight into the sun. Apparently I'm pulling out the old Windex when we stop next. That's disgusting. <laughs> Looks perfectly clean now. Well, not perfect, but perfect to me. Throw some sun in there and ho! Oh! We're in North Carolina now. I-77, I believe. I don't know. We're down here somewhere. Another half hour. We're going to exit on exit 107A onto I-40 East. It's going to take us down close to Thomasville. Drop off a few pallets there. Then we're going down to Raleigh. Drop off a few things there. It's not on pallets. It's going to take a while because it's all on the floor. And then we head down, uh, I think we're going to Charleston, South Carolina from there. I think I got another stop in between. I'll have to check it out and let you know later. But it is a beautiful morning. I'm feeling good. That sickness I had a few days ago seems to be gone. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Oh, look at the nice little flowers in the on the right there. Look at that. Pretty. Very nice. Very nice. I like it when people do things like that because I never think of those things. But they're very nice to look at. Like, you know, my house would probably look amazing with all kinds of flower beds around it. And little bushes here and there and roses and stuff. I never think of those things, but I like them. I mean, well, we got two stops done. Now we're headed to Raleigh, North Carolina. Hour and a half away, well, if we were on the freeway, it'd be an hour and a half away. 142 kilometers. So, we might give ourselves two hours to get there. In the meantime, we're just gonna enjoy this nice little narrow scenic road going through uh, near Thomasville, North Carolina.
were here in Raleigh at our second delivery, and we, we had a minor setback. It's not that big of a deal, but um, they are understaffed today. They only have one guy when they should have like four or five, and they couldn't unload me today because they're so far behind and everything, so that's okay. Stuff happens, accidents happen, understaffing happens. Uh, maybe someone was sick, I don't know. But anyway, so they said, you know what, is it okay if we just unload you in the morning? We'll have seven guys here at seven in the morning. We can unload you fast. This is a big drop. It's my biggest one, right? So I said, hummed and hawed. Okay, okay, okay. I have another drop here tomorrow anyways in Raleigh. And if we do unload it, just me and that one guy, it's going to take all day to unload it. And we might not even get it done. And then I'd still have to wait in Raleigh till tomorrow morning to unload 20 more pieces, which is going to take five minutes tomorrow. So if you, you know what, yeah, it's no problem. I let dispatch know. We'll just unload it in the morning, and then I'll run off to the other stop in Raleigh, unload there, five, ten minutes. I'll be out of there, and then I'm off to Charleston, South Carolina. And I should be there tomorrow afternoon, maybe before they close, but not holding my breath. I think I'll be there just after they close again. And uh, we'll see. I'll try my best. And But I'm making the appointment for Friday morning. And then it's just like another half hour, 20 minutes or whatever that we're going to be unloading there Friday morning. And then I'll be ready for reload. I have a feeling I may be sent over to Georgia from here, but I don't know. Dispatch has told me nothing yet. Unless they've emailed me in the past two seconds or two minutes. Well, they have. They're on the ball. All right, we are all ready to go. Diesel, are you ready? We're gonna have fun this evening? We got a whole day just to hang out. Just me and you. Oh, somebody save me. I'll save you. <laughs> That's the look he gave me. You should have said that. <laughs> You'll save me from yourself? How's that work, mate? Oh, that was funny. Yeah, so the appointments are all made. I'm just going to hang out and do nothing till tomorrow. I might actually refilm tomorrow's vlog because tomorrow's vlog is a stand-up vlog. Uh, I didn't have anything to post because I uh, missed a few days in the moving process and I uh, filmed a vlog that has music in the background. And last time I put a vlog up that had music in the background, People didn't like it. Some people did. It was about half and half. But it was just sort of standing there. So I might just leave it there. You'll have known already because it was a week ago for you. But I'll probably just leave it there. Oh, whatever. We're gonna, gonna go to Walmart right now. I just watched my video that was posted today. It was uh, the day I mowed the lawn and whatnot. And uh, Jay Canal uh, from YouTube, he's got a channel, Jay Canal. He left this comment on there that made me laugh. It was the top comment too. <laughs> what is it? I gotta go read it again. <laughs> it was hilarious. Got me laughing. What is it? Youngest viewer email. Uh, MLD130. Top comment here. Jay Canal. Why am I picturing you standing on your roof in your Jimmy John's wrapped in a Canadian flag yelling, This is my land! <laughs> I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd have a hockey stick with a Canadian flag at the end, waving it around. <laughs> Thanks, Jay, for a good laugh today. That was funny. <laughs> you even got Diesel to laugh a bit, didn't you? Yeah, man. Look at that smile. <laughs> How can you laugh every time someone makes fun of me, Diesel? <laughs> Probably because I was laughing too, so we thought it was okay. It was funny. Watch. <laughs> I can see me doing that too. Is that weird? Maybe not my Jimmy John's. Should I be concerned, Jay, that you're picturing me in my Jimmy John's waving a flag? <laughs> wrapped in a flag? Oh boy. Anyways, anyways, back on topic. Walmart. Walmart. The best part of Walmart too. We're looking for oil for the truck. I think that employee is following us. 
Do I look suspicious? I love Walmart. Walmart. What's this aisle have? Every aisle is an adventure. Every aisle has something exciting. Like this. What? So we got here tennis rackets and we're back over here we were right by the oil <laughs> let's get some oil oil nope wrong oil this is like the candy section recycle used oil at your local walmart do you know that you could recycle your used oil at walmart you can just do everything at Walmart. I did not know that. I always wonder where to bring the old oil. Premium sun protection. You can now get Duck Dynasty sunscreen. Really? It's a little bit of a stretch there, isn't it? Man, those guys' faces are everywhere. My beard's just as good. Why do I not have sunscreen? Okay, my beard's not as good, but whatever. Before you know it, they're gonna have Duck Dynasty Ken dolls to go with Duck Dynasty Barbie dolls. Can you imagine? This is the world we live in. I'm thinking about this movie, After Earth. Will Smith is in it. Usually if Will Smith is in it, that means it's a good movie. I think we'll try it out. Been meaning to check this video out too. Movie, I guess it's a movie. Here it's really good. So why are we in the beer aisle? We're not getting beer. No beer for Trucker Josh. Coke, because I saw Coke over there. Coca-Cola, you people. Not that kind of Coke. I don't need a 24 pack. I just want a 12 pack. Yes. Vanilla Coke. There's the Walmart haul. Should be good for the next at least two weeks. At least, right Diesel? I got you some food and a bone. Are you serious man? Don't mess with me. I did. Good boy, you deserve it. Wonderful air conditioning. Wonderful air conditioning. So, uh, I learned something from Jade and John. Again. Happens regularly. <laughs> I got one of these in Walmart on my, on my haul. Now I keep everything in here. I keep all my completed logs, empty logs, my business expenses, miscellaneous expenses, my PARS and PAP stickers for crossing the border, Transflow, ACI, ACE, USA expenses, Canada expenses. Keep all my important papers in here now. Much more organized than just sort of in a folder like that much more organized. I feel much better about this. So thank you to them for the great idea again. Now all I need to do is put a big fridge up in the corner over there. Seriously, I'm, I'm probably gonna do that eventually. That fridge is so small. So we'll see. I'll probably put one up there eventually. I like, they take the mattress out of here too and I don't really need a mattress in there. I might do that. I might just lean it up against the back wall. Who knows? They're very handy. Have you ever seen the inside of their truck? They have like everything but the kitchen sink in their truck. And it's all neat and organized and easy to access for the most part. They even got their bikes in the back here on the truck. I got mine strapped to the back of the truck. They got theirs inside the truck. Two of them. It's nuts. But it's all organized, nice and neat. So yeah. A lot more than I can say for myself. <laughs> Why did I just show you this mess? Now I gotta clean it up. 
I love these suburbs around Raleigh, North Carolina here. Like this is all like part of the city. Like just these little roads going through the bush and there's little communities here and there and here and there. But they leave as much of the, like, the bush and the forest standing as possible. I love how many trees they left. Like they didn't just knock it all down to build their city. No, no, no. So nice. See, it looks like you're out in the country. But really, you're just right in the city. Pretty much, not right in the city, but in like the suburbs. Like, this is what suburbs should be like. Like, urban with all the services and you're sort of close to everything, but yet it feels like you're not in the city. The suburbs of Winnipeg, it definitely feels like you're in the city because there's no trees. They knock down all the trees to make this neighborhood, right? And then they make the neighborhood, and then they make the houses so close together that your eaves troughs are almost touching. And then you gotta plant all your own trees. And then it takes your entire lifetime for those trees to grow to the point where you want them, and then you die. <laughs> so you gotta live your entire life with no trees in your yard. No big trees anyways, like this. This is a little industrial zone here. But you wouldn't know it, would you? You thought we were in the country. No. Nay, nay. This is Raleigh. Whoa, what are you guys doing so close? Back up, guys. Back up. You were in my bubble. This is my bubble right here. So a little behind the scenes look at what I was just doing. I just filmed the video that went up uh, almost a week ago for you when I was just sitting in the truck here saying, hey, there's no video. Sorry talking about animals in my yard and stuff. This is behind the scenes. There's Diesel lying out of the picture. You were supposed to be on camera the whole time, man. Look at him laugh. <laughs> so yeah, we're here till tomorrow. Tomorrow early morning. I'm gonna take off. We got one more drop here in Raleigh. Raleigh, sorry. Raleigh. I didn't do that on purpose that time. Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, then we're going to Charleston, South Carolina. And yeah, so today was an exciting day. So these movies I got before, let's talk about them a little bit more. I filmed them in Walmart, and I don't think I'm gonna cut out the footage. Uh, but we'll see, in case if I did cut it out, I haven't edited it yet, right? You're watching it, but for me, it's not even edited yet. So you're seeing things that haven't even happened to me yet. But by the time you see them, they've already been a week in the past for me. Wow! Diesel, mind blown. Okay, so uh, I got this, right? After Earth. Uh, it's got Will Smith in it, so it's gotta be good. And Jaden Smith, his last name's Smith too. Is that Will Smith's son? Well, that's kind of cute. He's making a video with his boy. That is awesome. Sort of looks like him, I don't know. Huh. I'll have to research that. I'll have to put it into the old goggle machine there and see if I can figure out what's going on. And this one. Uh, this one's called God's Not Dead. And I think it should be pretty interesting. I hear it's really well done. Duck Dynasty makes an appearance in it there. It's always good to see other people's takes on things, right? See what they think. See what they believe and why. So, those are, uh, I don't know if we'll get through them both tonight, likely, because the sun's still up and I'm ending the vlog now. I hope the vlog was long enough. I have nothing left to vlog. I'm gonna sit here until tomorrow. We could walk the weasel. Let's walk the weasel. I actually wanna go take a look at what those natural gas pumps look like. Let's show you guys what those natural, natural gas pumps are gonna look like. Huh. This is what they look like. It's so bright out. Looks just like a regular pump, except it's got a start and a stop button. And that is the nozzle. Look at this. Get my shadow out of the way. That is pretty cool. What does the end look like? Oh. That's pretty cool. It's a vehicle grounding clamp. So you gotta ground the vehicle. So it will be a little different. And it looks like right now it's set at $2.80 per gallon or per DGE, whatever DGE is. 
Interesting. Do any of you guys drive natural gas vehicles? I've seen them in Winnipeg. Uh, Winnipeg, the city that I'm from. Winnipeg Jets. Go Jets, go. Uh, they have uh, a new garbage system. All of their garbage trucks now run on natural gas. But I've never seen one up close or how it works or what the exhaust smells like. Because I think about those kind of things. He's sitting like right in front of two air conditioning vents. Right in front of it. Good boy. Okay guys, we will see you tomorrow like always. 4 a.m. Central Time. Find out what we're doing tomorrow. There should be more driving tomorrow.